Went and got it. So this is... I can do a zoom in, babe. Hey guys, so welcome to a new vlog. I'm gonna start off with a Hot Topic haul. This is like totally crazy for me because I don't think I've ever bought any clothing from there before, but I decided to take the plunge because I saw some cute things. So right now I'm just gonna show them to you guys. So I heard that they size like Torian, so I did get size four for I think majority of these dresses. So this is the first one. Ah! It's a black velvet dress and it has this really cute white collar. I think it's so adorable. And I don't have anything in velvet, so kind of excited. This really cute black dress with the moon. Oh my god. I'm actually in love. And then this really cute dress. Oh my gosh. More moons and stars. And this is the front. This little chest piece, if you will. I'm pretty sure these do size like torrid, so I'm really excited. And the last thing. I thought this was such a cute dress. It says, I'm bored. <laughs> I freaking love that, oh my god. Okay, it's a little scary to find another store where I freaking love their clothing because I am a clothing hot. Like, I recycle clothing a lot. I buy a lot of new clothing, but then I also give away clothing. So it's like, I get and I give, so it balances out and I'm totally okay with it. Do what you want with your money. So I asked you in the last vlog towards the end if I should get rid of this dress. I didn't see any comments or messages regarding it, but I have officially decided I'm going to get rid of it. It's just not my cup of tea anymore. And look right here. This is my new white pumpkin I put on my vanity. This is just here, so I don't know what to do with it. This is the mirror I do my makeup in. But look at my cute little white pumpkin. So cute. And he surprised me with roses. Look, red and white. I freaking love. She's so wonderful, I swear. And I have a bunch of clean dishes I have to put away, so don't mind all that. I have been wanting to get my nails done. So I got these fake nails. And I almost just want to take them to a nail place and be like, this is what I want. Because I feel like I'm not going to glue these on good and I feel like they're going to come off super fast. I don't know. I don't know. I'm conflicted. So I wanted to do a little taste test. This is Trader Joe's True Thai Vegetable Pad Thai. I love Pad Thai. It's so good. And you guys, I was over here and I saw this nickel standing up. I really hope that Becky did that or else I'm going to get highly creeped out because yikes. Oh, this comes with a lot. That looks like a lot. So it's 360 calories, which is perfect for a meal. Remove cardboard sleeve, lift corner of the plastic. It has 42 seconds left and it smells delish. It doesn't even smell like a TV dinner. It kind of smells home cooked. I feel like TV dinners get such a bad rep. Like, yeah, some of them are really bad. You! Bad. But I was looking at the ingredients. Oh, wait, hold on, someone's calling. Hello? I was looking at the ingredients in this. And you guys, there's no weird preservatives. I know how to pronounce every single one of these. You guys, the most, the biggest word on here is tamarind paste. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, you guys, so after having ate a bit, I realized that the texture of the sprouts, it just is not going well with me. I'm very much a texture person, so I didn't get to finish. Look at these beautiful picture frames I bought. I actually need one more because I'm gonna put one with Rarity in it, Wasabi in it, and Twinkie in it and hang them on the wall. These gorgeous crystals. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna get you one more. I actually got them from a store called Myers. Oh, there I am. Hello. So I'm actually gonna try doing these. Uh, a little hesitant, but we'll see. I think I'm gonna do them. Okay, let's try. So first thing I'm gonna do is just turn them all around and try to see what fits where and then kind of like line them up in the way that I would put them on. See, that fits perfectly. Oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna do so bad. I'm ooh, scared. Okay, so I went through all of them and there are the ones that fit good and how I wanna have them laid. Thumbs, pointer finger, middle finger, so on and so forth. So woo! the glue's next. I know a lot of you are probably like, why are you making a big deal about this? Well. I've never done my nails like this before and, you know, if I mess up, I don't know how it's going to feel to like rip them off or if I hate them. I mean, who knows? So, okay, I'll be back in a second. Ooh, you guys, I damn near glued my fingers together trying to open this. Just saying. All right, I want you guys to be with me the first one that I do. Ooh! Okay, the instruction said add, I don't know what hand to do first, what fingers to do first. I'm confused. I'm in confusion. I'm just gonna do my pinky first on my dominant hand. Ugh. Oh my god. It said add the glue 
to the nail. Okay. But then it also said, add the blue to your natural nail. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. Hold for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I nearly glued my sh- Oh my god, it's crooked! <laughs> Yo, it's crooked! It's fucking crooked. It is crooked. Oh boy. <laughs> you guys. Look at all that glue on my thumb. Oh my god. I had a hard time. I'm gonna be honest. My middle finger, none of these wanted to go on my middle finger. It was the weirdest thing. And then these ones right here my finger whatsoever. I don't know what it is. But I love, you see all the white glue, I'm dead. <laughs> I had a difficult time. This took a lot longer than it should have. Um, I do love how they look though, like in the sense of like how like the colors and whatnot. So when I go get my nails done, I honestly might get this very exact thing. It would look a lot better. Oh my God, I'm... <laughs> I should have vlogged the experience, y'all. It was so funny. Like, look at the white dried glue. Oh my gosh. It was just for fun. It was just for laughs. It was just for giggles. Just a little, you know, had some spare time, wanted to find something to do. Now I can do ASMR. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with like the bling bling bling. So I was looking up nails to get an idea of like what I'd want. And it's like something like this right here when I go get mine done. Like that right there is freaking gorge or, um, hmm. I mean, that one was about rap. I also really like that too. I'm very into like the nude diamond look. It's just so pretty. Ooh, I love those. Wow. A treat? You want a treat treat? Okay. Really? Can I not open it because of my nails? Oh my God. Hold on, wait, let me get in there. Hold on. You guys, she's jumping. Mama tries! Mama's trying! Oh my god. What the heck? Oh my god. This is way harder than it should be, sis. You want a little one of these? Here you go, baby girl. Come get it, come get it. Oh, there you go. Ew, those stink. Those stink like really bad. So this is instructions for someone who just got a tattoo, so you know what that means. Becky got a tattoo! Her first tattoo ever. <laughs> Oh, it's funny. Well, hello, everyone. Um, but you're still in the front. Do you care? Oh, no, I'm just trying to button up my shirt. Yes. Well, my gown. Um, hello, everyone. Um, I just wanted to come on here and show my tattoo that I got. Um, me and both of my sisters uh, got matching tattoos, except, um, they're all three different colors, which I didn't know it was going to all be different colors. I got mine done first, and then my oldest sister got it done second, and she was like, oh, I'm gonna put pink in mine, and I'm like, really? <laughs> And then my uh, other sister was like, okay, I'm gonna get purple in mine. So I got stuck with sort of the plain jane where my amber and black's mine better anyway. Yeah, I don't know. it looks really good. Baby. The reason I got the tattoo, or we got the matching tattoos, is for my mother who passed away in July from, uh, she had breast cancer starting out, but um, even after radiation and one round of chemo, it had uh, spread literally everywhere. And so um, she passed away at her home on July 24th. So we we're like, you know what? I'm, I've been terrified to get tattoos. I've been wanting tattoos and I'm terrified to get tattoos. So we all went and got it. So this is the tattoo. I can do a zoom in, babe. I'm trying my best to show the best I can. And I couldn't go because COVID-19. Yeah, they couldn't go because uh, they only let um, one person in there other than the person getting the tattoo. But yeah. they actually made an exception and let both of my sisters in. Because you guys were all getting the same tattoo. Yeah, we were all getting the same tattoo. And we knew the girl that was doing the tattoo for us. Yeah, so. I was I was hesitant about going the night before. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I don't care about my pain. I'm going to be there for you. Turns out I couldn't go. Yeah. So let me explain this tattoo. Um, a daisy is my mom's favorite flower. And the N, the initial, is for her name. It looks so pretty, babe. Thanks. It's, she, I'm gonna start two, crying, hold on. Add two more tattoos. Ooh. Yes, she oh. does. So, did it hurt? <laughs> yes, but not as bad as I thought. It was actually backwards for me and my sisters. I said that the uh, outline hurt really bad, but the coloring really didn't. They said that the outline didn't hurt that bad, but the coloring did. So I'm just like, I don't know, maybe by that point, I was used to the pain. I don't know. It's so pretty. I'm definitely getting tattooed by that person if I ever decide to take the plunge. Yeah, so it's so, uh, you happy with it? I am. Good. And uh, I hope she would have been happy with it. You know, she, you know what she would have done? Cried. Yeah. Fold her eyes out. She would have. I love you, babe. I love you too. So in the next clip you see, you're going to notice my skin color. And I will say in this clip especially, it looks really bad. I think it was the lighting for sure in the bedroom. But I also do want to say, yes, I do have a yellow tint to my skin. It does look the J word. I don't like saying it. <laughs> and it's not something I want to talk about on here. Like I said, I will no longer be talking about my health. But I want to point out, yes, I do notice it. So you don't have to point out something that I already know. I look like an actual grandma inside of like my grandson's bedroom but we ain't gotta talk about it we have been sleeping in the guest room because i'm still just kind of nervous to sleep on the new bed because it is high off the ground i'm not used to it and a lot of people thought that we weren't using the bed because there was a bunch of stuff on it it was actually the other way around 
there's a bunch of stuff on it because we weren't using the bed. So it is time for a curvy comment. And I do want to say that I do do a random generator for the comment. It's, I think it's called like commentpicker.com. Today's winner is Audrey Gibson. I want that dress though. A lot of people said that, which actually kind of like shocked me because a lot of people don't say that when it comes to the stuff that I'm wearing. Super cute dress. I'm pretty sure you were talking about the rainbow striped one and I actually got that from Torrid. So I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.